Hello friends, this video polynomials part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched polynomials part 1 to part 8. Let's try to derive relationship between zeros and coefficients on the quadratic polynomials. So this is my quadratic polynomial ax square plus bx plus c. Correct? This is the quadratic polynomial because the highest power is 2. Highest power of f is 2 and a is not. So general form of quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. And let's assume that alpha and beta are the factor of this quadratic polynomial. So we can write this function as k into x minus alpha into x minus beta. I can show you if you want. For example, let's assume 3x square minus 21x plus 3. This is my polynomial function of this form ax square plus bx plus c. Now this I know I can write as this form 3 into x square minus 7x plus 10. Again if I factorize this, this becomes 3 into x square minus this is 10, 5 into 2 is 10 and 5 minus 5 into the minus 2 is 10 and minus 5 plus minus 2 is minus 7 so I write this as minus 5x minus 2x plus 10 we have learned this in the factorization videos if not please watch that so this becomes 3 into this becomes x into x minus 5 and this becomes minus 2 correct so this is the form we got this is nothing but k into x minus alpha and this is nothing but x minus b correct so what i have done i have written this a x square plus b x plus c into k into x minus alpha into x minus beta where k is a constant and alpha and beta are factors of this or zeros of this polynomial. Correct? Alpha and beta are zeros of this polynomial. Alpha and beta are zeros of this polynomial. Correct? Now the same thing I can write in this form x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta y I can show you. So if you have k into x minus alpha into x minus beta if you have this i can write in this form k into this x square minus beta x minus alpha x plus alpha beta correct this is nothing but k into x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta correct this is what we have got the same thing I can write in this form kx square minus alpha plus beta into kx plus k alpha beta. That is this. So in this is more clear, I have written like this. Now if you see that this equation and this equation are same. Both are same. Right? Because the same equation I have made like this. So I can say that I can uh, say in this way that since both are same, I can say that a by k that is a by k the coefficient of x square ratio of coefficient of x square by b by minus k into alpha plus beta the ratio of coefficient of x is equal to c by k by alpha correct what i have done since the equations are same i am saying the ratio of the coefficients of x square x this is x square this is x this is constant the ratio is same correct so if you take these two what we get is alpha plus beta is nothing but minus by thus k and k cancel and if you take these two this and this what we get is alpha and beta is c by k correct what we have done if you take these two k and k cancel what you get alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by this a will come here and if you take this and this here also I'll k k cancel what you'll get i'll cancel k from all if you want alpha beta is nothing but c by a so what we have got alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha beta is equal to c by a where alpha and beta are nothing but zeros of this quadratic polynomial and a b r c are coefficient of this quadratic polynomial a b c are coefficient of this quadratic polynomial thus we have derived a relationship between zeros and coefficient of the quadratic polynomial correct alpha and beta are zeros and a b and c are coefficient of quadratic please make a note of this this is a very useful relationship we'll use this 
alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a, alpha beta is equal to c by a, where alpha and beta are zeros of the quadratic polynomial and a, b and c are nothing but coefficient of the quadratic polynomial. Now we will take some examples of zeros and coefficients of a quadratic polynomial. Let us assume this is the function 2x square minus 8x plus 6. You can write this as nothing but 2 into x square minus 4x plus 3. Correct. The same thing I can factorize this. This is minus 4. Minus 4 I can write is nothing but minus 3 plus minus 1 and minus 3 into minus minus 3. So I can write this is nothing but 2 constant x square minus 3x minus x plus 3. Correct. Nothing but 2 into x minus 3 into x minus 1. Correct. This I have in this form. So thus I can say that alpha and beta in my case is nothing but 3 and 1 because this is nothing but k into x minus alpha into x minus beta. Correct? So comparing these two equations I can say alpha and beta are 3 comma 1. Correct? Also we know that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha beta is equal to C by A. We'll prove this actually. Now first let's find alpha beta. Since we know alpha and beta, we know that alpha plus beta is nothing but 3 plus 1. That is 4. Correct. Alpha plus beta is nothing but 3 plus 1 that is 4. And now let's try to find the value of minus B by A. Minus B is nothing but minus of minus A. Minus of minus A by A is 2. That is minus, this will become plus. 8 by 2 minus 4. So we have seen 4 is equal to 4. Correct. Because this term we got from actual values of alpha and beta. And this form minus b by a we got from formula. So we can say that this formula is true. Correct. Similarly for alpha beta, for alpha beta, alpha beta is nothing but 3 into 1, that is 3. And c by a is nothing but 6 by 2, that is 3. And we can see that 3 is equal to 3. So we can say that alpha beta is equal to C by A. And thus here also we have proved that the formula which we have derived is correct. That is alpha plus beta is equal to minus B by A and alpha beta is equal to C by A. Where alpha and beta are zeros of this quadratic polynomial and A, B, C are coefficient of the quadratic polynomial. This is just one example to prove the theorem which we have done, uh, designed in the last slide. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha beta is equal to c by a. We'll take one more example. We have to find the quadratic polynomial, the sum and the product of whose zeros are 4 and 1 respectively. That is, we are told that alpha plus beta is equal to plus 4 and alpha beta is equal to 1. We are told. And we have to find the quadratic polynomial. We know that the quadratic form, polynomial formula is x into k into x minus alpha into x minus beta or actually we can write this as nothing but k into x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. This is the general form of equation where we know alpha plus beta and we know alpha beta. Correct? Now we will just put the values. So this becomes k into x square minus 4x because alpha plus beta is 4 plus alpha beta is 1. So, so. Correct. Now since this is the value we have got x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta that is x square minus 4x plus 1. Now we can put any value of k. So if we put k is equal to 1 this equation becomes x square minus 4x plus 1. If we put k is equal to 2, this equation becomes 2x square minus 8x plus 2. If we put k is equal to 3, this equation becomes 3x square minus 12 plus 3. All these are valid answers. Actually. So there can be many solutions. You keep on putting the values of k, you'll get the answer. But in general case, if asked in exam, just put the value of k is equal to 1 and get the answer. But logically, all these are answers. Correct? Because here also if you see in all these equations, 
the sum and the product are 4 and 1 respectively. Correct? So there can be many solutions for this answers for this question. But in examination, we generally put k is equal to 1 to get the answer. What we have done? We have just used the formula. The formula that we have is for general form of quadratic polynomial is k into x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. And we knew the value of alpha plus beta and we knew the value of alpha beta. We had just substituted the value of alpha plus beta as 4 and alpha beta as 1 to get this equation. And then we have put the value of k is equal to 1 to get this equation 1 k is equal to 2 to get equation 2. We can keep putting the values of k in different values to get different answers. Let's take one more example. We have to find again 0 the coefficient of the quadratic polynomial. This is the polynomial we have 6 square minus 3 minus 7x. I can rewrite this as 6 square minus 7x minus 3. It is always good to have this polynomial in the descending order of the power 2, 1, 0. Okay. Now let's again factorize this first to find the actual values of alpha and beta. And then we'll prove the same theorem. Because to find zeros, what we will factorize this. So this is 6 into 3 is 18. And 18 again is 9 into 2. So I'll write like this. This is nothing but is nothing but 6x square minus 9x plus 2x minus 3. Why? Minus 9 plus 2 is minus 7. Minus 9 into 2 is minus 18. That's what we're looking for. We have learned this in factorization. If not, please watch that video. This becomes, if you see, 3 is common here, 3x is common here. So this becomes 2x minus 3 and this becomes 1. This is the value we have got and this is nothing but p of x. Now from this, we know that the zeros are those values for this px is equal to 0, right? So for the values that is 3x plus 1 into 2x minus 3 is equal to 0, for those values of x, we will say they are the 0 of the polynomial. So this becomes 0 as x equal to minus 1 by 3 or 3 by 2. So these are the two zeros of this polynomial function. Right? Minus 1 by 3 and 3 by 2 are the two zeros of this polynomial function. So we know alpha and beta. Alpha and beta is nothing but minus 1 by 3 and 3 by 2. Correct? So we have found the zeros. Now let's again prove the formula which we had. So the formula says alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Correct? So let's find alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta is nothing but minus 1 by 3 plus 3 by 2. That comes out to be 6 common minus 1 plus minus 1 plus 3 into 3, 9. This becomes actually minus 2. Why? Because 6 is the common we have taken. 3 into 2 is 6. So this becomes 7 by 6, correct? For the we have taken 6 as the LCM here. So we got alpha plus beta is equal to 7 by 6. And the value of minus b by a is nothing but here, minus of minus 7 by a is 6, this is 7 by 6. Thus we have seen both are equal. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a. Similarly, alpha into beta is nothing but alpha into beta is minus 1 by 3 into 3 by 2 that is minus 1 by 2 and also c by a we have to find c by is nothing but minus 3 by 6 that is minus 1 by 2 here also we see both the values are same that is alpha into beta is equal to c by a thus here also we see that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha beta is nothing but alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a and alpha beta is equal to c by a so if asked what are the zeros, zeros are minus 1 by 3 and 3 by 2 and coefficients a is 6, b is 7 and c is minus 3. Sorry, b is minus 7 and c is minus. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.